This is a video on learning how to use the Cambridge Ancient History. Access a list with links to all the volumes of the Cambridge Ancient History from the research guide for your course. The Cambridge Ancient History is a set of scholarly writings exploring the history of the ancient world. The set is organized by time period and geography. Find a volume that relates to the place and time you are studying, then click on the link. Let's look at Volume 7, Part 1, The Hellenistic World. When you get into the volume, if you scroll down, you'll notice that the table of contents appears. Each chapter is written by a different scholar. The Cambridge Ancient History should be treated as a secondary source for citation purposes. That is, you will need to cite the item you use as a chapter in an edited volume, giving credit to both the chapter author, in this case, Edward Will, and the editors of the volume. And you can find the editors of the volume right underneath the title. You can read the chapter headings to find where discussion of your topic might fit, but I recommend first using the index, which is all the way at the bottom. So we'll bring up the PDF of the index. For this course, several index headings will be useful. For example, the word religion, the names of specific gods, such as, for example, Isis, and also the heading gods will be helpful. And there may be others that you know of from your own readings. Let's look at the heading for gods. So we'll scroll down there. And it starts at the bottom uh, of the page. Here's our heading gods. And then you can see the subheadings are listed under that. And after each subheading, there are page references. I'm going to scroll up to the top of the page to see the rest of it. So still in the heading gods, subheading cults, discussion of that is on 314 to 15 in this book. Uh, the sometimes the index headings give you what we call see also references at the end. So in this example, see also dynastic cult, festivals, hero cult, etc. These are other suggested headings that you could look under in the index. So that might be helpful to you. If we are interested in aspects of Greek gods abroad, we would want to take note of the pages 168 to 9 and 315 to 16. So we will note those pages, then return to the table of contents. In the table of contents section, notice on the right hand side, it tells you the page ranges for each chapter. So if we're looking for pages 315 to 16, we'll simply find those in the table of contents and then it'll tell us what chapter we need to be in. So we need to be in chapter eight, cultural, social, and economic features of the Hellenistic world. Um, clicking on that chapter brings you to a page where you can view a summary of the chapter. Notice the options to save the chapter PDF, send it to your Kindle device, save it to Google Drive, or save it to Dropbox. So you would want to open the chapter, uh, download it, whatever um, is your preference, and then find the pages that refer to the head index heading 
uh, four pages, 315 to 16.